Welcome all, welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screen you see the Blanc Pain, Barty Scarf, Quantième Complet, or in English, Complete Calendar. This is a beautiful addition to the Patti Scarf collection, an all-over grey watch in different shades of grey. I will show you these shades in different light conditions as always. I will bring the watch as always in my pool and film how the watch looks like on my wrist when it is in the pool. And yes, I will present you all necessary information. Something that is pretty new for me and you is the fact that this is a titanium grade 23 case. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Titanium grade 23, if you're asking yourself, what is the guy talking about? That's not an invention from my side. What is this legendary grade 23 alloy? It is a grade five superlative alloy, if you want to call it that way, or a very pure alloy of titanium grade five. It is also called Ailey meaning titanium grade 5 Ailey, and that the word or the abbreviation Ailey stands for extra low interstitials. So nomen est omen in this case, and yeah, it does tell us that this is a very pure alloy. And how could it be different? Yes, this special alloy comes from medical applications, yeah, or from sophisticated mechanical applications. This titanium is very much used in the aeronautical and space industry, so yeah. Titanium grade 23 is also pretty, it's scratch resistible, a six on the most scale, so you really get a pretty unique material if you are considering this Batiscaf uh, Contium Complet. <laughs> I like the word Contium Complet. It's French. Blanpa is located in the French part of Switzerland, so I like it. Contium Complet. But yes, of course, for those who don't speak French, it is a complete calendar in German, vollständiger calendar, in Italiano, calendario completo, and in Spanish, calendario completo, same word. The watch you see on your screen has a diameter of 43 millimeter. The thickness is 13.4 millimeter, and the so-called lug to lug distance so the distance from one log end to the other log end, I have been measuring here, 50 millimeter. The case with its screw down crown, huge crown here, can perfectly operate the crown, screw it, unscrew it, set the time, etc. So water tightness or waterproofness is a 300 meters of 30 bar in between the logs. I have been measuring 23 millimeter and if you want to know if this uh, strap is tapering a little bit, it does. Uh, it tapers down to 20 millimeter in the pin buckle. And uh, yeah, something I have to say, of course, I am showing you one out of three possibilities how to wear this watch. You can also wear it with a NATO strap or with a full titanium grade 23 bracelets. We do have pictures, unfortunately we don't have the watch. There is also of course a price difference, but this will be something I will talk about later. The weight of the entire watch is 91 gram, um, so pretty light. This enhances a little bit the haptic or the feeling on your wrist when you're wearing it. It is a huge watch and it is still pretty light. I can't say how heavy the watch is with the titanium bracelet, but I assume it will be pretty light. And this is always the question, is this then heavy enough for such, a, I would say, bold watch or not? This is something you have to find out yourself, at least in the configuration as we have it here, with the strap 90 grams, 91 grams to be precise. So what is the watch indicating? What is a complete calendar or quantième complet. So we do have indications for the weekday, for the month, uh, for the date, of course. And yes, there's also a moon phase indication, but uh, you have to play a little bit around in the light. <laughs> Here it is. Here is the smiling moon face. You have to play a little bit around in the light to more or less switch on. <laughs> <laughs> the moon face indication because depending on how the light falls on the dial, you simply don't see it. You see here and yep. 
So yeah, this is a nice feature if you like it. Um, not always visible, you have to really look for an angle to see it. So there's also a moon phase indication, but, 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 now comes the one thing I have to explain to you. All the indications, as nice as they are, have to be set manually depending on the length of the month. So this mechanism has no information about the length of the month. So it will always think that the month has 31 days. And yes, these adjustments, end of the month, you have to do them yourselves depending on the length of the month. So to do this, there are several push pieces integrated in the case flanks, four of them to be precise. And I will also show you what you can do with them. You are able to manipulate all the different indications. Of course, when we turn around, nice view on a nice Blancpain movement in this case. It is the 6654P. It is a 4 hertz movement, 28,800 semi-oscillations per hour. And the uh, Caliber features a power reserve of uh, 72 hours and consists of a total of, for those who are really interested, of 321 parts. The here prominently visible rotor, where there is also a written Blancpain, is a full gold rotor and it has been given an anthracit NAC coating, yes, to better um, yeah, correspond to the general gray look of that watch. Imagine that if uh, this automatic rotor would not have been anthracit coated, it would look a little bit weird, I would say, if you turn the watch around and then you have a massive gold element here. I don't know, but it is gold. It is written here, 18 karat gold, so it's no cheating, it is really gold. And this is what you get. Also important and good to know, you can prominently read the word anti-magnetic. Yes, this is because Blancpain uses a silicon hairspring, of course, and other features that provide the watch an anti-magnetic property, a good anti-magnetic property. Also, I want to quickly show this to you because some of you might already have seen it. Here it is written PR13. So this is a watch that belongs to a collection of Blancpain that uh, yeah, tours around the world to be shown to the press, uh, to media, or uh, yes, to, of course, uh, the retail and uh, VIP clients, etc. So this is a watch that will not be sold. And in case, because we are filming here in 4K, you are discovering a little scratch or something whatsoever. I have not, to be honest, not found anything on it. But if you see something, this is of course due to the fact that this watch is a watch that tours around. Um, yeah, people touch it, wear it, etc., um, etc. Et so might be, might be that there are some little, might be, I don't know. I haven't seen any. If you ask yourself, hacking seconds, yes or no, I have to say, unfortunately, no. I'm pulling out the crown, you see, in the second position, and what you see is that the central second hand still swipes over the dial and does not stop, and you see I'm in the hour setting mode and there is no hacking seconds. So yes, this is a little bit of a disadvantage if, 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 yeah, yeah, it depends. Some really want, need, yeah, look for it. <laughs> Some say, oh, I don't care. <laughs> depends. I would say I would miss it because I very much like to set my watches uh, with a time signal. I always pull out the crown in uh, the second position when the central second hand reaches zero. And then I wait for a time signal. I start and yeah, this is something I like, but okay. Yep, tastes are different. That's always the cool and fun part in summer to bring the watches if they are waterproof, enough waterproof into water, in, uh, to be precise, into my pool. And there we go. This is how the Blancpain looks when it is filmed with my arm underwater. <laughs> um, I very much like to show these pictures or these, um, yeah, can you see here? I love the effect, of course. You are watching my videos, our videos. In summary, you have been seeing this before. So this is not a specific fact for any uh, model or type of watch. Once the watch is not completely filled with a liquid, as Sin does it 
for a Daiba, but that is part of four. With a quartz movement, of course, you can do that. With a mechanical movement, fill it completely with liquid. Then you will avoid this effect, but this effect is there. It is mirroring everything you see in the pool, but it will no longer show you the time. So I always call that time out, time in effect. And yeah, this is how the watch looks like. Summertime, watches are in the pool. <laughs> nice, look, this is how it looks like when we are, I'm filming it. And this is how it looks like when it is back in water again. Looks good. I very much like this gray, the titanium gray 23. Um, looks gorgeous, is a very nice color, I have to say. And yeah, all everything else, the uh, blanc pain dial uh, with the uh, sunburst effect, uh, the strap, everything is perfectly matching the colors of the gray. Yeah, a nice watch. Look here, pin buckle and one last shot in the pool. There we go. Let us together discover what happens when the watch is uh, changing the date, the day and the moon phase. So I will pull out the crown and advance the hands until midnight. We have, but we have to be careful. You know why? Because I will now um, find an angle for you so we can see the moon face. Yes, there are other reflections, but please watch the moon face because I assume as all these uh, calibers or uh, movements mostly do, they, the change of the moon face will happen around six, seven o'clock in the evening. So it's the first thing we are going to see. So please forgive me the reflections, but observe the moon disk. Let's just wait until the central second hand moves away and watch the moon disk, I assume sometime around... Ah, I heard a click, I heard a click, you couldn't see it because the moon disk was covered by the hands, but it was 6.30, 6.30, yes. Um, the moon disk advanced for one day. This is why I was uh, saying that. And now let's continue to observe what happens. So this is 8 o'clock p.m., 9 o'clock. Oh, you, we see 9.20. The day, discs, uh, day disk already moves. The change continues, is finished one hour later approximately. And then the we have to wait a moment. The central second hand is always disturbing our scenery. Come on. <laughs> ah, we see 11.30 that here. Um, it has already started to move. And yes. So there is, uh, yeah, about two hours, plus minus two hours. Um, the settings go on. It's no instantaneous day or um, month change and uh, yeah I will also quickly set the watch to end of August to show you what happens when we are reaching or when uh, September will be indicated. I have been setting uh, the date to the 31st as you can see here and there's also one information I want to give you so the mechanism is protected you can manipulate every single indication whenever you want. It is fully protected against misuse, if you want to put it that way. So equally where the hour and minute hands uh, are positioned or stand, you can manipulate and you will not be able to harm uh, the Calibre, the blanc Calibre. Caliber. So let me show you. We are, of course, now the, it will be correct. Yes, everybody knows that August has 31 days. So the changes will be correct, of course. But let me quickly show you. We do have, again, the click of the... I just heard the little click of the moon disk and now we are continuing. And you see, uh, again, some time around nine o'clock, uh, the disc of the day has started to change. Yes, Friday comes then, and let's continue. Yes, something like a quarter past 11, the movements, uh, September, you see, September already changed at 11.30. And we continue to turn, and yes, uh, about uh, midnight and 20 minutes, or 20 past midnight, or midnight past 20, everything has, um, yes, changed. We have September, the first Friday, etc., etc. So not an instantaneous mechanism, yes, but who cares, come on. It is a beautiful and nice way to display the day, the month, the date, and 
the moon phase in case <laughs> you find the right angle. Well, let me, yeah, here it is. You have to really find an angle. You have to find an angle to make it visible. It is a very, uh, yeah, yeah, you see, no, yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah, I like it. Sometimes you have to play a little bit around. And then you will also see the sunburst effect of the beautiful gray dial. You will also then uh, always see that the discs 200% match the color. The watch is simply perfectly done. No doubt, no doubt. Since this is a diver, the basil will only turn counterclockwise. There we go. It is really counterclockwise. I'm turning it 120 clicks. Yes. The inlay is ceramic, of course, and the indications for the minutes are done by liquid metal. So the indications of the minutes 15, etc., is liquid metal. And since this is a diver, in our loom shot, you will also discover that the little dot at 60 or zero is, of course, also featuring some super luminova, and you will be able to see the dot. Four in the case flanks, integrated push pieces are there to manipulate whatever you need to manipulate. Let's start with the dates to bring this out of our visibility on the September, on the month window. I will use my plastic pointer. So once I push on the push piece, I will send it back to the 10th where I had it before showing you the various disc changes of the day, the month, etc. So look what happens uh, when I use this push piece here. Then you will see October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Yes. Now I will show you what happens when I use the one position at four o'clock. So now I got it and I hope you see it. Yes, you can see it's mirroring and I'm pushing correctly. So you see one disc disappears and new moon starts again and would come up until full moon. Here we have full moon indicated. Yes, I showed you how the date moves. And the last thing I will quickly show you is, of course, the uh, indications of the weekdays. So we see here Saturday, Sundays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. That's it. And I had it on a Wednesday when starting and I will put it back to Wednesday. So it's Wednesday, August the 10th. Yep. As we saw it in the beginning of the video. Let me just quickly say that once again, this is 10 past 10 a.m. I always set the watches when I manipulate them to 10 past 10 a.m. But even if I would set it to midnight or whatsoever, you can operate each of these push pieces and set the watch whenever you want. The mechanism is completely protected against any mis potential, potential misuse. The Contiem Complet or Complete Calendar comes either with that um, sailing tissue strap with a pin buckle. Yes, it is also made out of titanium grade 23. So the watch either comes this way um, or with a Colorwise, perfectly matching NATO strap. I'll turn it around. You will see Blancpain. And we see the French two words, cosu main, that means handmade. Um, if you don't like uh, the sailing tissue, um, yeah, NATO is an option. And if you are into bracelets instead of straps, yes, you can buy this Batiscaf Contium Complet with a titanium grade 23 bracelet. The Blancpain Batiscaf Quantium Complet with its titanium grade 
20 free case is sold in the execution as we had it in our video with that uh, sailing tissue strap for 14,800 Swiss francs. If you are keen to buy it with Donato strap, it's the same price, 14,800 Swiss francs, including Swiss VAT. And the version with the um, titanium bracelet is uh, 17,200 Swiss francs. So there is quite of a price difference. Yes, but yeah, it is a full titanium bracelet and yeah, it has a certain price. That's how it is. So thanks very much for watching this video about the new Blancpain party scarf. Uh, what do you think? Um, the gray, um, the different shades of gray of this um, Blancpain watch, do you like them? I must say personally that this is an incredible beautiful color because it is not a gray that is on the cool or hard side, it is more on the soft and the warm side. And since um, the gray is really um, more tending to be on the warm or soft side, you can easily, when wearing the watch, combine it also with blue. You have a blue jeans or a blue shirt. Um, it is also possible to wear it with blue. Would it be more on the technical uh, side? No, it wouldn't work. You would probably have to uh, more um, be on the side uh, black, white, uh, gray, etc. But this is a very universal gray. Looks gorgeous, I have to say. I also very much like this little, little detail. Um, I have been, of course, yeah, putting the watch for the last uh, scene here so you can see the moon face, but I like the fact that it is not always visible and you have to play around a little bit with it and then you can see the soleil, the sunburst effect. You also see it here. You see the soleil effect. Let us participate and please share your thoughts with us. Let me, let us know, let me know what you think, if you have questions, etc. Thanks for watching this video and yes, please stay tuned on Watch Advisor on YouTube. Bye-bye.